All right, everyone, welcome back to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Krosmer. So, Michelle, today's topic is an interesting one because, you know, when it comes to talking about seeds, people have so many questions, and I've been reading a lot of the comments. So I think today's episode should really be good for people. So the question is, what seeds are okay for people with kidney disease? You know, is it flax seeds, is it chia seeds, is it hemp seeds? What, what do you think? Okay, so I... First of all, I think that all three of them, and I think flaxseed, chia seeds, and um, hemp seeds are really good ones to focus on. We get asked about those the, the most. Um, they all are very likely okay for people, like everyone with kidney disease. Um, they contain you know, healthy fatty acids, they contain fiber, they're a good source of plant protein. So there's a lot of benefits of including them in your diet. Um, but where people I think get hung up and why they often hear, oh, I can't have this seed or I can't have that because they have kidney disease is because of some of their specific um, nutrient content, specifically things like protein, potassium, phosphorus, even oxalates, we get asked about a lot. So I want to kind of go into those three main C types that we get asked about and then those different nutrients so we can kind of together go through which ones might be better for which situations. So first of all, from a standpoint of phosphorus, we can rule out the phosphorus being a big concern with these seeds because we know that phosphorus from whole food plant sources are only absorbed about 50%. So you don't need to harp on or get super focused on the phosphorus coming from seeds. They're also not usually used in super high quantities where the phosphorus can get out of control. So let's moving phosphorus aside. Now thinking about potassium. So they do have varying, varying potassium. So your hemp seeds or hemp hearts, you might see them labeled as those are going to be higher, the highest in potassium of the three than flax seeds, and then chia seeds are going to be the lowest in potassium. From a protein standpoint, the hemp seeds are going to be the highest, and then it's going to be, and I had to write this all out so because there's so many topics on it. So protein, the hemp seeds are going to be the highest, then your flax, and then your chia, but there's not a major difference in protein, um, only about a half to one gram of protein. And um, another thing to point out with this as we're going through these comparisons, I'm comparison, comparing per tablespoon because they have different standard servings. Hemp seeds is three tablespoons as a serving, flax seeds is two, chia seeds is one to two tablespoons. So this is all comparing at one tablespoon portion, then this is how it breaks down. Um, as far as fiber goes, chia seeds are gonna be the highest in fiber, then your flax seeds, and then your hemp seeds. And then from an oxalate standpoint, and again, please watch our episode where we talk about oxalates. Um, it might not even be a concern for you at all, but if oxalates are something you're concerned with, then flax seeds are gonna be the lowest in oxalate, then the hemp seeds, and both of those are considered low oxalate seeds, and then chia seeds are gonna be the highest in oxalate. Um, chia seeds are considered for a two tablespoon portion. It's about 45 milligrams of oxalate, which is considered high oxalate, but a one tablespoon portion or half that amount is, is considered moderate oxalate. So pretty much any of these seeds can fit anyone with kidney diseases needs in the right portion and combination. I think that they overall have a lot of benefits for people with kidney disease, and it's just picking the right ones in the right amounts, depending if you need more or less protein, more or less potassium, everyone pretty much needs more fiber. Um, and then if oxalates are concerned, then you would likely pick the flax seed or the hemp seeds. Um, with these seeds, also, again, I had mentioned that the, the general serving size or portion used is, is different amongst the seed, but they're great to add to your oats, to smoothies, to make a chia pudding, to a yogurt, sprinkle on your salads. There's a lot of great uses of them. I think that ruling seeds out and saying, oh, I have kidney disease, I can't have seeds. I don't think that's the right way to go. And it's more if you're deciding between the three, then kind of listen back to this and decide if you need a little bit more protein, mm -hmm. um, then maybe hemp is the route to go. If you need more fiber, then really any of them, but probably more chia and then flax. They're all going to be great sources of healthy fats. They're all going to provide some plant protein and they're all going to provide some fiber and they can all pretty much fit in your diet. Um, work with your dietitian to help you, but ultimately it's just the portion that you're having in the combination and frequency. So I hope that helps you guys and we'll see you next time. 
Thanks, everyone.